So that's kind of an open invitation to all the bands yeah. or anyone else watching this. You want to play a show feel, with us? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Feel free to reach out. doesn't matter what genre. It doesn't matter. House party, the garage, yeah. neighbor's backyard, somebody's, you know, Quintana. house that's, cool. you know... Up for Someone's sale, wedding. and they don't know about it. I want to see. A, I want to see a punk rock quinceanera. That's what I want. Oh see. yeah, yeah. Like I've always wanted to start an acoustic death metal rap band. That's not a thing yet. Wait for it. This video is brought to you by Select a Ticket. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me and my guests. And my guests today are a three-piece, pop-punk mostly, band <laughs> out of Las Vegas. Their first show was August 22nd of last year, so still fairly new to the scene, but they are already making waves. Please welcome to the channel, Destined to Fail. Hi, guys. Hey, what's hey. going on? Welcome to the channel officially. Hey, thanks Quinkity, for having clink, us. Clink. Thanks for having us. Clink, Woo. clink, clink. Cheers. Sorry, my other glass was empty. Cheers. 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 Oh. Room 6 Whiskey. Love it. So, first of all, for those of you watching, if you don't know who Destined to Fail is, thank you for watching. Go ahead and tell them Definitely. who you are, what you do in the band. Uh, okay, so I'm Joey, and I'm the bass player, and uh, not by choice, but the singer as well. And, uh, yeah. I'm Daryl. Hi. I play drums. And I'm Jake, and I play guitar. Yeah. Cool. Good interview. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well, that was unnecessary. Later. Right, I'm going. So, yeah. they were nice enough to bring me some gifts, which you can actually pick up. Um, can they buy this online? Or just no, the shows? No, they can buy it at the shows. Buy it at the shows. Or you can, I guess, DM us on Instagram, maybe? I don't Slide know. into their DMs. However the kids are doing it these days. <laughs> they brought me some DTF stickers. As you, you may have noticed, I, I went crazy decorating. And hey. this cool shirt. Which is uh, colorful. I like it. So, that being said, why destined to fail? Why destined to fail? When, um, I mean, you, you're fail? aware there's a band on MySpace called Destined to <laughs> Fail, right? My MySpace. Well, what's That's my, still around. What, what's MySpace? Uh, seriously, my, they, they, there's a band called Destined to Fail out of Pittsburgh, a, a death metal band, heavy metal band. Yeah. So uh, I remember researching that myself and coming across that too. And uh, I think my whole thing on that was, I don't know how active they were exactly. Um, I mean, I heard the stuff, it sounded good, but I'm like, well, they're way over there and we're way over here. So, I mean. Yeah, that's a, that's a good it, problem know? to have if you get big enough to where they're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, just like uh, Ezra but, and better than Ezra. But if, if, well, <laughs> we kind of we came up with it. Uh, he came up with it actually one day. We were outside skateboarding and we played another band and uh, the one of the guitar players, he just wanted to make it famous and big yeah. and uh it was a it was a punk band and he goes i don't know what he was thinking man we're punk we're destined to fail and we're outside skateboarding we're like that's the band name that's yeah, such a, so that that's such moment, a punk know? rock band like story of course that's how you got your name we were skateboarding <laughs> we might have left some other things out but that's yeah, that's cool too <laughs> right on if uh by the way stick around we're going to be seeing a couple songs from them up in room six uh stick around kind of, yes. kind of a, an acoustic performance it's kind of acoustic <laughs> punk thing um if you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description, or click the Room 6 social media link. That's where you'll find all the places I'm doing stuff and what I'm doing. And what the heck, while you're down there, go ahead, feel free to like, follow, share, subscribe, all, all the things, all the good things. I appreciate you. So, back to you guys. He's also on Tinder. What? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Just no, no. kidding. I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all about Bumble. Okay, it's Craigslist. So, I met, I met them actually at the bring your own zebra party at the usual place uh which was uh I, I have a review of it here great review yeah check it out true story yeah true story there's the thumbnail it it was a great show it was a good time zebra stuff everywhere and i have a question did you keep the inflatable zebra yes we did it's actually in our garage yep nice uh the, it was put on by sound the groove who gave each band a, a, an inflatable zebra that was blown up already and said make it your own so it was like some bands put stickers. I think you put stickers on yours. Yeah, yeah. we had stickers. We peed on it. Did a couple other Sweater beat, like colored it and put lipstick on it and stuff. Yeah, it got it cool. got a little weird, but uh, yeah. no, ours was cool. Someone put a was that them? They put the neck brace on it or something? I no, know I was. think I don't know who did that. I feel like that was a drift. Yeah, yeah, those guys are good. If you guys get a chance, to check out a drift too. They're awesome. Yeah, they are kind of an instrumental, uh, yeah. 
instrumental soft punk maybe we played two shows with them and they're just they're they're so just timing everything is just tight it's it's yeah yeah, it's the best and i mean they think they need a singer honestly guys if you're listening you don't need a singer you're good without a singer but that's your guys's call right but check them out you know if if, I, i yeah don't don't be in a rush to get a singer if people like what you're doing already that's right yeah. If it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. You guys are huge proponents of the local scene, like on on social media, mm. you constantly put you know right. pro- promoting, propping up other other bands, other acts. Who's on your bucket list of shows to like see, whether they're out of town or local, that you haven't seen yet? Mm. Or, or I'm sorry, no, no, no. Back back up. I remember now when I wrote the question. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on your bucket list of Doing a show with. Oh, okay. That yeah. you haven't done. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. And as, we're lo- as far as local? Or? Yeah, local. I mean, of course, okay. of course you want to play with Bucko to think, 9. So you play with, of course you want to play with Bucko 9 and NoFX and all those other big names. But, Who? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so It's the Beatles. Get it right. Tell them. <laughs> oh, it'd be really cool to play with Destin to Fail from uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that'd be off the hook. Or, or Destin to <laughs> Fall. <laughs> Yeah, Destin to fall. We can call the nice. tour Destin to fight. And then, yeah. Wow. It'll be cool. We'll get on stage after. And then, nah, so, really. um, I, I think... <laughs> a real battle of the band. Like, for me, I, I would say... Um, be like Max. I know they're not around. Happy Campers would be cool. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm open to play. I can say we're open to play with anyone, pretty much. I don't know. Anybody else? Uh, what about you, you guys? What would you say? So I, I, I just like playing. So whoever <laughs> yeah. wants to come play with us, <laughs> just just yeah. fine. It doesn't matter if you're metal, hardcore, death metal, punk. I want to play with Roman Candle. Like <laughs> anyone, uh, seriously. Yes. They're awesome. Right on. Um, you know, we haven't played with I mean, there's so many, so many bands. I really want to play with everybody in town. Just as much yeah. as you know as possible. There's a couple bands we've already done shows with, the Drift and American Standards from Phoenix. And they're awesome. Is the this yeah? They were on their like farewell tour basically, and we played their last show here in Vegas with them, and mm-hmm. we had so much fun. And those guys were just all awesome. And and uh, I think for me, um, even though it's not in the same genre or anything, but there's a, a group out there that's two I can think of off the top of my head. Um, Shatter the Moon. Oh, so those guys, yes. are, those guys are awesome. Shout out to and those guys. They, they always, they, I mean, they come to our shows all the time, and we go to theirs. And it, I'm like, we have not been on the same bill. We finally got on the bill with the Dollheads, so that was that was a bunch of fun. Doll, Dollheads yeah, and awesome. Shadow of the Moon have yeah. been on the channel, and, and then they're uh, amazing. Our boys in Calamity and Joy, like um, that, that that would be awesome to do. Have you heard of them yet? Or? I I think I've seen them play once. Yeah, they're they're awesome. So like. Yeah. What I love about them is just two of them, and they're just making it happen. Right, and that's I mean, right. Two pieces. That was like that was like our story for the longest time. You know, we we're just trying to get a full yeah, lineup yeah. so we can play it. But these guys are just making it happen, even without the full lineup. You know. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. All right. Leave. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> I'm looking for a band. No. All right. Can you sing? No. Because <laughs> I know a band looking for a singer. <laughs> Is it right. destined to fail? No, it's a drift. Oh. Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah, right there you go. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only one that doesn't sing in the band. Hey. Yeah, there um, you go. So so that's kind of an open invitation, all the bands. Yeah. Or anyone else watching this, you want to play a show feel, with us? Yeah, yeah definitely. Feel free to reach out. doesn't matter what genre. It doesn't matter. House party, the garage, yeah. the neighbor's backyard, somebody's you know Quintana. house that's cool. you know up for Someone's sale wedding. and they don't know about it. I want, to see a, I want to see a punk rock quinceanera. That's what I want to see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to start an acoustic death metal rap band. That's not a thing yet. Wait for it. An electric triangle? I'm sure it is. Probably is. I'm, I'm sure someone's done it. <laughs> I don't get out very much. Right on. Um, so, <laughs> on to some more usual, my usual interview questions. Okay? You OG room sexers will probably, you know, you're probably sick of these by now. You, you'll, you'll recognize <laughs> some of these. I want to talk earliest musical influence. Which, I, what I mean is, what is that first moment you remember going, I want to do that? I'll take this one. Yeah, field it. I mean, yeah. you feel I, it. I, I was mean, watching I'm MTV. Back when they had music videos? Yeah. So, was, 1984? Um, I forgot what year it was, but it was Green Day playing a live show. And I was like, oh my gosh, I yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, they put on Green a good Day. live show. Now. Like I mean, <laughs> the best is when he freaked out on stage here in Vegas. That was awful. Who? Oh, Billy Joe. Yeah, yeah. That was a while ago. You never really that know what you're gonna get ago. from them. My wife, my wife, my wife's family has a 
kind of an interesting history with Green Day. Um, before they were Green Day, they were slow children. Or sweet children. I think they were sweet children. Did you say slow children? Yeah, I did. Oh. Slow children was, is actually a local band, or they were. Oh, okay. That's what right. threw me out. But they were sweet children. And they were uh, up in Northern California, where they're from. And my wife is from Northern California and was the right age at the time when they were did their, like, their first show or two at the uh, Benicia Community Center, I think it was. And they were so bad that kids were throwing banana peels and Coke cans at them. Sounds <laughs> appealing. Yes. So fast forward. They're Green Day. They're kind of a deal. Mm. Yeah. My sister-in-law, my wife's sister, is at Amoeba Records. And if you know San Francisco. Amoeba, yeah. Or, yeah. or the Bay Area, you know Amoeba Records. Oh, they got, she, it. They got them in L.A. Too. Yeah. She's at Amoeba Records. And, and uh, this guy's in her way. I was like, excuse me, excuse me. And pushes out. Like, and she goes aside. Who's that guy? I think he is. Billy Joe? It was Billy Joe. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, literally that close. Um, that's awesome. So, that's my family's history with Green Day. Um, I find it. I've always. I, I followed them a little bit. Once they came out Dookie and, and started becoming a, a thing thanks to MTV mm. and VH1. And I, you could see, like, these guys are working at it. They're getting better at putting on a show and, and making music that is a little bit more, not so much accessible, it's just well-written music. And that makes it more accessible to, to, to people. You could be punk as hell, philosophy-wise, mm. but if you're saying, no, man, we're, we're not sellouts, we're, we're punk... But really what you're saying is nobody comes to our shows because we're terrible. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true. That's, you know, punk rock was all about fighting societal and political and social and economical, you know, uh, issues. And also um, promoting equality and, and all, all sorts of things. But it was never about, no, we're, we, we're not going to get good. <laughs> yeah. So... Right on. Um, so, anybody else with their earliest musical influence? Um, yeah, go ahead. Go? No, you good. Go ahead. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have Camera to say is uh, back in middle school, just listening to 107.5 when it was good. <laughs> <laughs> when it was good. Shots fired! When they were good. Sorry, guys, but you changed it over a bit. But just listening to like the hard rock, and then eventually in high school, I was playing guitar more and wanted to do it started listening to heavier punk i mean i was listening to punk at that time uh, hardcore you know metal death metal and was like oh i want to do this this sounds fun <laughs> calm down calm down a little bit dude <laughs> yes i want to rock <laughs> and or roll <laughs> um i mean for me um kind of personal mm-hmm. i guess oh please yeah sure Get in, get in there. So there's per, there's personal and there's a, uh, I guess if you're gonna talk about like seeing like a well known band or something for a well known band I mean it was probably Guns N' Roses just because uh, Duff McKagan the bass player is probably one of my one of my biggest influences uh, Matt Freeman from Rancid too one of my biggest influences but uh, personally speaking was being 14 15 and uh, going to the the local punk shows that were in my town that I grew up in and seeing all those bands play. And I'm like, you know, if they're doing it, I, I can do it too, you know, or, you know, I can, I can sound just as bad as they sound. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so, <laughs> so a lot yeah. of it was that and just going out to the shows and, and just having fun and listening to good music. And, you know, yeah, that was, that was fun. I mean, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this about the band, but he's actually my older brother, the guitar player, not him, but maybe he is. I don't know. My mom was pretty really? busy. So, anyways, yeah. but uh, wait, wait, yeah, we yeah right? Wait, so, <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a shocker. So, anyways, he took me to one of my first punk shows, I guess, a little more known, but it was TSOL and Swing and Utters, and, and then Cobra we had up. we had so much fun with yeah. just there, and I was in the pit, and just the whole rawness of it all, and people stage diving, and somebody spitting on Spike Lawson, and yeah, anyways, Where was I'm getting personal. It was in but New Oasis. Yeah, it was in Reno. Reno. that's gone now, but yeah, I was know. gonna say. I swear, I, I've seen that, at least seen the flyer for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's ringing a bell. I, mean, I, I, have, I have a poster, a poster in my room. Yeah. Nice. But the craziest thing is it's Only got Manic Hispanic, and Manic Hispanic didn't play that. No, they didn't play that night. No. It was No Shame. Nothing Party that played, but yeah. yeah so, no bueno. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, it was uh, it was cool, though. Only 500 of those. <laughs> no, no, no. Only 125 of those posters. Were yeah. That's what it was. But I'd have to say that was. Oh, man. I had so much fun. It was a good show. show. Yeah, it was good. It was fun time. Nice. How about you, big bro? 
Uh, uh, show yeah. or no that earliest musical influence oh i thought oh it, i'm sorry yeah yeah yeah, yeah let's sorry. do it again yeah, yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> we're gonna Spears, roll it was it so you about 1075 sorry yeah i thought he was giving i swear Vegas this is only my first whiskey something. um sorry <laughs> so speaking of which i see i see some low cups here i think we're gonna take a quick booze break and hear a message from future, future josh so booze break Booze we love break. Future Josh, by the way. Future Josh is awesome. Yeah. He's a jerk. <laughs> love that guy. Jinx. Hey. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Do you hear that? The percussive smack of rubber on wood? The annoying squeak squeak of sneakers? It must be basketball season. And guess what? Select a Ticket is here to save you some cash. Select a Ticket has the best seats and best prices available for any event, including concerts, Broadway shows, and of course, sporting events. Experience the difference with selectticket.com and their all-in pricing with no added fees at checkout and no delivery fees. That means the price you see is the price you pay. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off every purchase over $100 on merchandise and tickets to your next NBA game. Just enter coupon code NBA10 at checkout. Thanks to Selected Ticket for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back. We're back. Got a couple more questions. Then, we're, stick around. We're going to be seeing them perform a couple of awesome songs upstairs in room six. Acoustic awesome. Punk. All oh, right. Well, we're going to see some songs. <laughs> more accurate. Yes. <laughs> uh, question me. Mm. Actually, shoot it. Circling back. Who, who, who has the zebra? Uh, we do. So we live together, and it's in, sitting in the garage. It's in the garage? It's gonna die. No, I gotta find no. a place for it. We're trying room. to find a figure out a place. Hang it from the roof. Okay, <laughs> just just a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer, Peta. This isn't an actual zebra, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have a picture of. I'm sure. <laughs> so. It may look like a baby zebra, but it's not. What What's on the horizon? Right, if you make two animals fight. It's only illegal if you bet on it. Anyways, keep going. What's on the horizon for Destin to fail? Um, bear in mind, this probably isn't coming out till like October. Uh, is there <laughs> a, any any news that you want to tell them? Going to the studio, going on a tour, what? Um, I mean, we are looking at um, recording new music, so the studio is definitely on the horizon before the end of the year. Okay. Will those songs come out by the end of the year, either the end of the year or beginning of next year, something like that? Right on, or maybe tomorrow. Well, who knows? <laughs> when uh, when you're when it's all done, if you'd like a review. Send it my way, and I'll be happy to do a review we'll video. Do All right, cool, yeah. <clears throat> giggity. And then, and then <laughs> I guess uh, pumping out more songs, like you said, with the review. Um, hopefully, play a couple more shows with different bands. Um, yeah, and see what the future has to offer. Yeah, we are in talks right now with a show at what was it? Double Tri- Down. No, yeah, was it Double Down? Yeah, it was Double Down. Yeah, it was no- Double Tree. November, yeah, no, it was double down. <laughs> Mitch Hedberg? November 12th. So be on the lookout if it goes through. Right on. I've got official word. It's pretty much yeah. all all uh, circulating rumor, people mm-hmm. trying to get stuff together, moving around. You're right talking on. too much, man. So Double Down is an amazing place, but it's. It has. I haven't been there yeah. in years, but it's, it's never it's been. Awesome. So it's. Like, I thought Dive Bar had a lot of stickers in the bathroom. Yeah, but Double, Double Down's down. got them in the bowl, man. It's freaking, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's nuts. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I've never been someplace where I'm like, I'm loving it, but I wish I had more sanitizer. <laughs> That's the best place. Shout out to Ask Juice. Yes. All right. I love that. So, um, two more questions. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hang in there. No. You feel them. <clears throat> right on. Let's start a fight. All right. All right. Who? You and me or now, Joey and you? Actually, before Destined to Fail, before <laughs> August of 2022, what, were, was there like some other bands that you were, some other musical endeavors you were in? Any of you were in? Yes. Uh, there's a band around town, sort of around town. They're um, kind of in and out. They're called The Crucial Moments. Ooh. I actually played with them in a band. And um, they're, they're, they're on Spotify and stuff, The Crucial Moments. And um, I, for the life of me, I can't remember the EP. I don't remember if I'm on those recordings, if they kept any of those. I was. We, we went to California and recorded a 10 song album 
So it's still out there, but that was before I had singing lessons, so it was pretty terrible. Like I don't even think I sound that good now. Wait, was, they, they, they had to auto tune oh that. What like, was it? Was it punk? It was terrible. Oh, yeah, it was uh, yeah. kind of kind of in the vein of um, uh, the Menzingers. Okay. Cause, yeah, cause, that was like their main like because that band name is very emo. And, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 kind of more like I don't know, kind of sad boy. Right <laughs> yes, but, Gentlemen, uh, anybody else? Uh, no, I, I I made a baby. Cool. Welcome Cheers to the party, to pal. Thank you. I mean, mine's 15, but you know. Yeah. Mine's, my, my, mine's, mine's four. Ten mine's years, zero. You never told me. <laughs> so you're the only father of the band? That we know sure, of. Yeah. And how old is your baby? She's four. <clears throat> okay. So a, a question for you. Dad question. I like to ask this question to, to, oh, to, 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 to dads in bands. Dads in bands. How does she, how did, how's your daughter, right? Yeah. How does your daughter feel about daddy trying to hold on to his youth? Uh, I, I think uh, she enjoys it. She, she she's come to some of our shows, and she yeah she right on she rocks she's out. Four. She doesn't know better. Yeah, <laughs> that too. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, she the, misses me a lot though. That's the guy I pee on. No. <laughs> Pretty much something like yeah. That. Right. Um, the reason I ask about <laughs> previous bands, you know, things you've been doing, is I want to say I want to let's start a fight. I wanted to kind of gauge how long you've been in the music scene here in town. As put from you know before Destin to fail. Well, we, gotcha. I mean, uh, yeah. that story we, yeah, that story yeah. we uh, told about how we came up with the name. We've actually been like kind of music partners for like the last like ten years. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. we just a lot, a lot of our half of our set list is songs that we wrote a long time ago. We just never had a full lineup to get it out there and play shows and stuff. So okay, you know. so let, let's 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 start a row. <laughs> as the British say. What is one thing that you would wish you could change about the local music scene? Hmm. Mm. Anyone want to field one of those first? I think I have an answer, but if you guys want to go, go ahead. Daryl. Or your other brother, Daryl, or your other brother, Daryl. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, if you guys haven't noticed, he's kind of the quiet one. Yeah. No, Just it's because I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the drummer, man. You're yeah, Chef Morimoto. Yeah, yeah. How counterintuitive. Drummers matter. I'm Bass players don't. That's offensive or not. <laughs> Son. Calling him Morimoto. Okay. People think I look like the Miz. Is that offensive? Uh, I mean, from I'm awesome. Jersey Shore. No, he was like in some sort of like room reality. He was in the show. real world. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, I don't world. even know. Yeah. I don't even watch. He's this a wrestler now. now. True story. Wait, anyway, Chef yeah. Morimoto. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. No, that would be awesome. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. What would you change about the music? Oh, yeah. What's your pet peeve or whatever about it? Um. Yeah, at this stage of my life, I really don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Anybody Everything else? is cool. Hey, gentlemen, do you have a honest. brothers? Do you have a gripe? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know about a gripe. I mean, or uh, something I, you, you would like to see changed? I mean, I've been in Vegas, back in Vegas since 2009, and we had all these great, these great venues uh, like Artistic Armory, uh, 702, the skate park one, and. And I really wish there were more uh, the all age venues and stuff. Obviously, right. thanks COVID. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I just um, for me, it's like I kind of wish there was a stronger presence of that of the right. local scene. Like what what I grew up in, talking about those eat. stories and those those going to those local punk shows and this being a high schooler and going to them and you know I, I wish there was more of that yeah. in Vegas. I know Vegas is hard too because it's like entertainment capital of the world people. and you know it's. Well, I mean, there's Eagle Larry Hall in Henderson. Yeah. You're familiar with that? Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. There. <laughs> we played yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, that times. place, the Bills, some like eight bands or ten. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Bang exactly. for your buck. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. But there's, and there's the space, which is, I mean, it's a little hard to get to. The shows there are legit. Mm. Yeah. You've been to the space? No. I've been there for shows. Right. But so, you know, like, yeah. but it's all ages. I couldn't believe it. Because yeah. when you walk in immediately, there's the bar, but also there's a 10-year-old mushing. So yeah. you're you're just like <laughs> this is cool. So the space, if you are looking for a band to play on any show, hit us uh, up. There right? We go. <laughs> um, yeah, they had the. There was one. It was like short lived. We saw there was. We're friends with a, uh, um, the guitar player, one of the guitar players who was in a local band here called Guts. Nice. I don't remember them, but anyways, I they. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they. We used to go to that. Venue, the warehouse or whatever. It was like the show. 
Oh, yeah. The place they held the show. We saw the Guts. We saw Guts there. Yeah, the Guts. <laughs> yeah, the guts. <laughs> we saw Guts and a couple other people there. But uh, I, I don't think that's around anymore. I think that one's gone, too. Yeah. And yeah. It was the warehouse. And it was just like a shitty storage unit. <laughs> I, <laughs> it was, it was I cool. I think I had a band on here. I don't remember who. But I think I had a band on here telling a horror story about playing there. There were oh, really? like mattresses on the wall. They were... It smelled questionable. Yeah. Like, that kind of thing. But well, right on. yeah, my problem, like, uh, well, I wouldn't say problem, but, I mean, Eagle Area Hall is great and all. It's just that uh, it's a distance thing. Right, right. There's right. so many kids that don't have cars, don't have license, or don't have, you they know. They either get a ride or they are like, local. Yeah. Yeah. You know, back in our day, it was like, hey, we'll hitchhike with whoever. And now it's like, you can't hitchhike with anybody. Yeah. Just, yeah. I, am, but, I am seeing, sorry. You know, you I am seeing a greater amount of like house shows being promoted yeah oh, people definitely. are like making facebook events and stuff saying here's the address or, or dm for the, DM address. the address yeah like yeah, the yeah. night of or whatever and that's cool too like no, I love that. that's awesome i mean but yeah like artistic armory go back to going back to that i mean that was like in what arville and trop area so i mean that was the center, center of town yeah, yeah exactly. like that was everybody was always there like we still at old school. We had the we saw drinking water there too. Be like Max used to go there all the time, and uh, we had the old Polaroid. Like we were doing it totally old school. So Man. Man, it was it was it was a lot of fun. And you I wish see kids. There yeah. used to be this camera called Polaroid. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Pepper Spot. Kodak, thirty five millimeter. But. Wow. <laughs> I remember. Take <laughs> like a Polaroid. Anyway. Exactly. Last uh, question. You made it. Oh, sorry. Woo! Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Cool. We're gonna take it back. Circle it back. To that first earliest musical influence question. This is a question I ask of all my prey. You're gonna we're gonna talk to little you, basically. Really what we're doing is we're talking to new musicians. And yes, I've said this in almost every interview, but it's an important question. Important, pay attention. What is one thing that you wish somebody had told you, or that you wish you could tell little you about going down this twisted road that is being a musician in town and don't say change your strings? Don't say what? Change your strings. Yeah. I used to get that Wait, a lot. Wait, you're supposed to change those? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I teach the mine. children's, tell them, what is one thing that you wish, you know, new musicians or, or, or little you knew before embarking on this destined to fail journey? Uh, um, I would probably say just, I mean, it sounds corny, but I mean, never give up because I mean, you know, well, we're it took us like to 10 fail. years. We and, gave up. Here we are, no. but, you know. Yeah, that's like the whole point of our, yeah. our band name in the first place, you know. We are destined to fail, but we learn from our failures, and that's how we grow and evolve and get better at our craft. So if you really do love and enjoy the passion of music, then by all means, let's fail. Let's all fail together. Yeah. Don't do it for money. <clears throat> yeah. I, would, I would say don't that's do it for money. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah say don't do it for money. money. Get a job. <laughs> um... Do it because you have the passion for it. Um, it. It doesn't matter if you play in front of one person or a million people. You should just go out there and play and have fun. Um, someone's listening. To, I mean, yeah, yeah, someone's if listening. One person shows up. It, someone's it really listening. can <laughs> seem. It can seem sometimes like you're screaming into the void, but every so often you'll get that. You know, hey, yeah, you're on my workout playlist, or, or you know, yeah. sudden somebody comments on on a video you post of, of you know, that. You can't believe that this person even knows it is is on your you're on their radar. Yeah. Kind of thing. But yeah. also, at the end of the day, this is time for the old man speech. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's just you versus you. Whoever you were yesterday, have you done something to make yourself better? Have you done something to make your personal world or the world at large better? Or at the very least, have you not made it worse? And that's yeah. the problem that a lot of people have is. I'm unhappy about such and such, so I'm going to make things worse. Not how can I how can I help make it better, or how can I um, not be you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It a drain. Asshole. There are two kinds of people in life. There, <laughs> there are two kinds of people in life: radiators and drains. Be a radiator. Yeah, that's right. Uh, um, one thing I came up with as uh, a uh, just advice for anybody, especially younger musicians and stuff and just any aspect of life but um something i came up with and maybe i should patent it because i think someone's going to steal the put a shirt josh yeah, is exactly. going to steal it you better patent it right yeah now. exactly <laughs> so I, I would say the only person you should be trying to impress is yourself and maybe your music teacher nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they don't know what they're well not literally about. but yeah i mean 
or girl, whatever, yeah, you know, whatever. Shin, whatever. But yeah, but seriously though, it's it's um you know, impress yourself, and and that's just any aspect of life. Yeah. I was gonna say, keep, it goes keep for going, anything, yeah. yeah, just yeah. keep going and doing what you want to do, and and do yeah. what you love, and if you're not if you're not hurting anybody, keep doing it, you know. Yeah. Yep. Keep and pushing. Then, keep getting better. It's like in skateboarding too. We don't learn how to. We don't really learn how to do the tricks. We learn how to fall so we can, you know, get up and recover again. All right, yeah. Gentlemen, I think it's a good time. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say another thing, too, is uh, you're going to have people that are going to be like, your band sucks. Okay. At yeah, the end of the day, you're your own worst critic. Oh, God, yes. Um, <laughs> yes, you're going to have people that are going to say, your band sucks. I've your had people sucks. already tell me that Dustin the Fail is not their genre or your style okay. or we're terrible no, at the end of the day, okay. <laughs> you're your own worst critic. Who cares? You're going to have haters. You're going to have people that don't want you to succeed. And the ones that you want around are the people that are going to pick you up. There you go. Gentlemen, I think it's time we take one step back off our soapboxes. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Good. Come on, Beckett. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being on the channel. Stick Thanks around. for having us. Stick around. We're going to see them upstairs in room six, play a couple songs, and hey. um, we'll catch it on the outro. And in the meantime... I guess temporarily say goodbye. See Bye. you guys. Hope to see you soon. See you upstairs. Ba da ba da ba da ba. See you clink, upstairs. Clank. <laughs> clank. 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 All right. Uh, we're destined to fail. And this song is called Never. One, a two, a one, two, ready, go. <laughs>
right, so uh, hi guys. We are Destined to Fail, and this song is called So Long. One, two, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> I want to thank Justin to fail for coming on the channel and apparently my dog doesn't like them, but you know, whatever. Who does? If you want to know more about them, check out the social media links down in the description. If you can see them play live, do it. They're a great crowd favorite. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up there. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click over there. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, which is not punk at all, click over there behind him. Um, it's better than ours. Yeah, right. Whatever. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, guys. Yeah. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Boom. It's always one. <laughs>